chicos y chicas, bienvenidos. Hoy día vamos a hablar del tiempo. El tiempo siempre es the time, alright? Y siempre empezamos con qué hora es. Repiten, qué hora es. Alright, y qué hora es, es, what time is it? There are two possible ways to start your answers. The first one is es la. Es la is only used with one o'clock. That's because it's singular, and one is the only singular number. Now, it can be 1.15, it can be 1.27, but it still has to start with es la. Anytime it's one. So you would say es la una y diez. And then if we look at our little clock here, we've got the little hand pointing to the one, and the big hand pointing to the ten. So that means it is 1.10. Es la una y diez. Your other way to start it is son las. Son las is used with all other times because all other numbers are plural and son las is plural. So here we have a few examples. Son las tres y media. What do you think media means? Look at this pointing straight down. Tres y media would be three, thirty. So media actually means half. So this is saying that it's three and a half. Son las tres y media. And then here we say son las cinco en Punto. Punto is a cognate meaning on the dot or on the point. So here we have son las cinco. The little hand points to the five and the big hand points straight up to the twelve. And then finally we have son las nueve y cuarto. Todos repiten cuarto. Now notice it's not cuatro. The R and the T are reversed. It doesn't mean four, it means a quarter. And a quarter of an hour is fifteen minutes. So here we have it's nine fifteen. All right, you need to make sure you add these words to your vocabulary. E media means en half. En punto means on the dot. And e cuarto means and a quarter, which is 15 minutes. Over here, in Spanish, you say it's one, e, meaning and, the minutes. All right, so you would say whatever the hour is, e, the minutes, just like we did over here. Tres e media, una e diez. So if you look here, I have son las once y veinte. Son las once y veinte. It's, and then how many is it? I want you to go ahead and draw the clock on your note, and I want you to finish this off for me. It's, and then tell me what time it is. Once y veinte. And then the next one says son las ocho y doce. It's, and then whatever ocho y doce would be. So you go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab my marker. So I can show you in a second. All right. So hopefully you've got your clocks drawn by now. If you don't, hit pause and get your clocks drawn. It's very easy. You draw a circle, put a dot in the middle, and then you do 12, 3, 6, 9. And you do the same thing at 12, 3, 6, 9. So here, with once, once means 11. I see it. So I'm going to draw the little hand to the 11. Son las once y veinte. And twenty, you say? A ver. So now we're going to draw this down to veinte, which is by the four. All right, so your clock should look something like this, and it would say it's eleven, twenty. Así, perfecto. And here we have son las ocho y doce. Son las ocho. Ocho. Ocho is right over here just before the nine, so I'm going to draw my little clock in that direction. Y doce is... Well, so my big hand is going to go just before the 15. All right, your clocks don't have to be perfect, but they should give you the general idea. And then to write it down, you would write it as 8, 12. Así es. And that is how you tell time in Espanol. But there is a catch. It's okay. It's not a scary catch. All right, vamos a ver. In Spanish. We like to switch it up a little bit. So what's happening here, as you see, it's almost 2 o'clock, and we have the big hand on the 9. So you might think, es la una y cuarenta y cinco. It's 1.45. But in Spanish, they don't go up past 30. Once they go up past 30, they start to count back down. Okay? And what I mean by that is if the clock is on this side, they use and. But if the clock is on this side, they use minus. 
and they do a little bit of subtraction. It sounds crazy, and you've never seen it before, but it's really not that hard. It's just a different way of thinking about it. So, instead of saying, es la una y cuarenta y cinco, you would say, son las dos. It's two minus menos quince. It's two minus fifteen. Or, remember, fifteen is a quarter. You could say, son las dos menos cuarto. So what they do is they round up to the next hour. Once they cross the 30-minute mark, they round up, and then they count back down. All right, so it's literally 2 minus 15, which we would write as 1.45. Okay? It's the same time. It's just a different way of saying it. They literally come at it from a different angle. They come at it from the other side. So if we look at this one here, you're looking at it, and you're saying, oh, that's almost on the 6th. But it's not quite there yet. It's five till. We would say, oh, it's five till six. They would say, not son las cinco y cincuenta y cinco. It's not five fifty-five. They would say son las seis. They would round on up. Menos cinco. It's six minus five. All right. So it's just a little bit different way of thinking about it. Now, if you went up to someone and you said es la una y cuarenta y cinco, yes, they're going to know that you mean it's one forty-five. But you need to know that they're going to say it like this sometimes, and you need to be able to recognize it, okay? Now, más vocabulario. Medio día. Todos repiten. Medio día. Perfecto. Medio día is noon. Here we have medianoche. Medianoche. Muy bien. And then de la mañana. De la tarde, de la tarde, and de la noche, de la noche. All right, so these are some more vocabs. De la mañana is literally 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. De la tarde is 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. I put the más or menos there because where de la tarde and de la noche meet usually depends on when it gets dark, okay? La noche is pretty much considered where it's dark. So right now, it's about to get dark outside, it's 5 o'clock. I would still go with de la tarde, but in about 20 minutes, I'm going to probably switch over to saying de la noche, okay? So now, in your notes, I want you to write for me, escribe en español, what time you usually wake up, go to school, eat lunch, get home, eat dinner, and go to bed. Now, I don't mean write it like this. No, 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 no. I mean en español. Now, remember... Son las means it is. It is two. But if I want to say I do it at a certain time, I'm actually going to say a las. Okay? So my answer for number one, for when I wake up, is going to be a las cinco y media de la mañana. All right? I wake up at five y media thirty de la mañana. All right? I forgot to put day. Oh, Dios mío, you got to watch me. De la mañana. Just like that. De la mañana. And for number five, I would skip ahead. When do I eat dinner, you ask? A las siete de la noche. At seven in the evening. All right? Más o menos. Más o menos. So in your notes, go ahead and add those in there. Make sure that you can draw the clock. And make sure that you are studying your numbers. Gracias por mirando. Y nos vemos pronto. Chao, chao.